stage at Austin Interfaith Assemblies. We got creative behind a screen, a video recording. We're no longer living in those times. So I'm going to tell a story about my family. After working in this country 20 years as a legal permanent resident, my brother was brutally assaulted and put in a coma for two weeks. While he recovered enough to live independently, he's permanently brain damaged, slow to comprehend, slow to speak. He is regularly stopped by the police because he fits the description. He's been mistakenly arrested, and he regularly uses his driver's license to prove who he is, his identity. Two weeks ago, he attempted to renew that license, and he was denied because someone with his name in another state committed a crime. When he called a follow-up, he was told that nothing could be done. My brother, a legal permanent resident with papers, was desperate and scared that without that license, he would not be able to protect himself from arrest and deportation. Mm. Look, he's my brother. He's got papers. He's gonna get his license. But we can't guarantee the same for the DACA youth that study at UT Austin and worship with us at Guadalupe. Thank you.